Okay, so tween service is a really useful way of animating things in Roblox. So that could be uh, objects, if you want to move them, for example, or GUIs as well. So if you wanted to smoothly have a UI that fades in, fades out, flies in, whatever, all of that will be done by tween service. So let's firstly show you how to use it on something such as a part. So you're firstly going to need to get the tween service, which is just as simple as saying, uh, game get service tween service and then all you have to do is say tween service colon create and this creates the tween and we will put some information in here to tell the script uh, which object or instance we want the tween to play on we'll give a tween info which is a set of properties about how fast the tween should be what style of tween what style of animation and then finally, we'll give the properties that we want to animate. So we're just going to firstly put our spawn location in here because that's what I want to animate or tween. And then secondly, we're going to do the tween info. So we say tween info dot new. And this lets you put in the time, easing style, easing direction and a load of other properties. But for now, we're going to leave that as just having the time because I'm going to have this set to be half a second and then we're going to have a table for the properties that we're going to change but we won't put anything in that table for now we'll just close it off with the closing bracket and then to play the tween we put another colon and we say play like this okay so this is a quite a, a sped up way of doing it because normally what you might do is you might uh, not have the play here you might instead want to store this as a variable and then you could say tween colon play like this either of them work uh, but what we actually need to do is we need to tell the script what we want to change about this part so if we want to move it for example let's say we want to move it up in the air by 10 studs we would just put um, c frame equals c frame dot new 0 10 0 and this is a position in the world it's not saying move it by x y or z amount on each axis this is an actual position so it's moving it to these coordinates and so what will happen is when we click on play we click on run even you'll notice it moves very quickly up to that position so if we just head back to the script let's change the time to three seconds and just see what happens there it should make it a lot slower so we can actually see it in progress and there it is. So it's moving to that position. If we move the spawn location further away, it's going to move from that location to the same position of 0, 10, 0. So what else can we do here? Well, of course, you could add some other properties. I think you can also change things such as um, colors. I mean, we can give it a go. Let's just say color3 equals color3 dot from RGB. 25500 let's see what happens okay nothing happened must must be an error that must not be you must must be unable to do that oh no you can it's because uh, the uh, the property is color not color 3 my bad let's try this one more time click on run and you can see it slowly tweens to that color so you can tween colors you can tween C frames. I can't say I've ever tweened a color, which is why I was uh, wondering whether it would work or not. So we can tween C frames, color, um, loads of other properties as well. Things that are number properties can obviously be tweened. I'm talking about things like transparency, uh, reflectance, all of these different properties you can tween. And because this is all these properties are in the part of the same tween here, they will be controlled by the tween info so if you wanted the tween to be faster you would just make this number uh, a lot smaller so for example 0 0.1 would be a tenth of a second um, what you've also got is you can do easing styles easing styles control the type of animation there's loads of different easing styles it's basically a, a way of determining how quick or slow you want the tween to start out and, and how quickly it should accelerate or how slowly it should accelerate to its goal and if you want to see a visualization of these easing styles there's a great website for it uh, called easings.net which I'll bring on screen right now easings.net let me just bring it up 
Okay, here it is. So all you need to do is you just hover over one to see what the animation looks like. You can see this little indicator here moving along the chart. That will sort of give you an indication of how fast or slow um, the, the, the easing style is. So there's an easing style, which is the um, word at the end here. So sine, cubic, quint, circ, elastic. And then you have the easing direction, which is basically in, out, or in, out. And if you have a look at the different easing directions, um, you can see they move at a different rate. So just choose the one you want. I'm going to choose uh, in, out, sine. In fact, I'm going to go for this one because it starts off quite quickly ease out quint so we want quint and we want out so we're going to go back to roblox we want the easing style which is quint and we want the easing direction of out and these are enums so it's a, a pre preset choice for you you just have to say enum dot easing style dot quint or enum dot easing direction dot out if you don't want to use these ones that's fine you can choose from all of these different ones i'm going to still stick to uh, quince though and same with the ease and direction you've got in out or in out which is a combination of them so just play around see which easing styles you like uh, and then click on run and you should see that it accelerated from that position to over here much much faster than before so the easing style and the easing direction allows you to choose your own custom function for rate of change or acceleration so if you want something to bounce you've got some bouncy ones if you want a, uh, to slow a slow start but then a, a fast ending uh, all the other way around this will help you and it's pretty universal this isn't a roblox documentation website but it applies to most programming languages so just find a few that you like and you know you'll have fun using them with with tween service now what you can also do is you can stop a tween halfway through. Let's imagine our tween is 10 seconds long and we suddenly want to stop it. Well, as long as we've got it stored as a variable, so we can do things to it after it's been created, we could stop it early. You could say tween, uh, you could say tween pause if you wanted to. That would pause the tween after, say, three seconds here. I'll just show you. So the tween starts after three seconds, though. It suddenly pauses. It hasn't gotten to the destination yet. Uh, and maybe you want to restart it after a short pause. That's fine. You can just say tween play like this and it will start playing again after it's paused. And finally, what you can also do, just see there it starts moving again after two seconds. What you will also be interested in is you can completely stop it altogether. So you can say cancel and that will just cancel the tween. It's over. Okay. That will delete it and it will be it will be gone okay you don't have to worry about it uh, anymore but the last thing i wanted to show you was you can also have an event called tween.completed which will fire when the tween is done so you might want to have some code that runs when the tween is finished that's fine you just put it into this event now one thing to note is if you have a tween when you uh, play the tween the script will just move on to the next line it won't yield so it won't wait here at this line for the tween to finish it will just move on so rather than wait for 10 seconds it will play the tween in the background almost like creating a second thread and we'll just move on with the rest of the script so as you can see we wait for the event to fire that the tween is finished and there it is, tween is done, okay? It took a little bit of time because the easing style that we used meant that it went really slowly towards the end there and it hadn't completely finished. But when it has finished, it will print out that the tween is done. Okay, so that was a very, very brief introduction into tween service. Now, same thing applies to GUIs. You just put your GUI element into here and then you might want to change some properties such as the position which would be a udim2 value or the transparency or other number values like i say they're numbers so you would just input the number you want and it will tween so fairly straightforward standard practice might do another video on gui tweens in the future let me know if you'd like to see that but that was the tween service hopefully you found it useful and i'll see you in the next one